People who live in Jacksonville may now have a better understanding about what happened with frustrating trash and recycling problems over the past year. City Council issued a final report from its special committee. Chairman Ron Salem says the issue should be behind the River City. Not that it's perfect. You're always going to have people out for sickness and that kind of thing. But I think the services right now are pretty much back to normal. City Councilman Ron Salem led a special committee on solid waste in Jacksonville. And in the past few months, Salem says the group of lawmakers found the biggest troubles have been resolved. We all thought the, the labor issue was what was causing much of our problems. And we found now that the haulers are fully staffed, that the complaints have decreased tremendously. While Salem says he wanted the city to discontinue recycling glass, it's not profitable these days, other members of the committee didn't agree. What you put in your recycle bins, that will be scrutinized as a way to educate people. And we've got a, a huge uh, program coming through a grant we received where we'll be inspecting your recycling bin and leaving you a report on the bin telling you what was in there was good and what wasn't good. Salem says money's been set aside for continuing education. He also has high hopes for a transfer station that can make solid waste removal more efficient. Our landfill is way over on the west side on 301, and it's a 50-minute drive for, for some of the garbage trucks. So if we can uh, reduce that trip and get the drivers back in the neighborhoods, it's a, it's a win for everybody. Sounds like it makes it more efficient. It yeah. does. Now, finding the site will be the challenge. Okay. As you can see, that's one of our guests on This Week in Jacksonville, Sunday morning at 9. And Councilman Salem says residents are charged about $13 per household per month for solid waste. He says the cost of the city is really about $18 per household.